out there. This is going to be my video series on um, ulnar nerve release and transposition surgery. So um, a little bit of history. Um, five years ago, I had carpal tunnel release on both hands and that was due to numbness, tingling, pain in both hands. Um, and that surgery went really well. Happy about it. And that was five years ago. So recently, within the past six months, I felt those sim same symptoms coming back, which was pain, numbness, tingling in both hands. Um, and I was concerned, obviously, so I called the doctor and I looked into it on my own as well, but always, you know, deal with your doctor. And uh, she ordered an EMG test, which I've had before, and that's a challenging test. So they put a lot of different needles in your arms and hook them up to electric and pretty much shock you. And, and that gives them the readings and um, information they're looking for to confirm exactly what the problem is. So after that test, it turned out to be that the problem was um, ulnar nerve um, issues. So uh, when I saw the doctor after the test, she said, we're gonna try and do the release on the arm. We're gonna need both arms, by the way. Um, we're gonna need it, but we're gonna do the ulnar nerve release on this arm to start with. And then um, there's a good chance we'll need the transposition, which is what happened. Um, so I did need the ulnar nerve release and transposition. So the release is when they go in there and release the nerve, but the transposition is where they need to reset the nerve. Um, I won't get into all the uh, heavy details on that, but um, as a guitarist, obviously I'm concerned because I want to play as soon as possible and get back to enjoying playing guitar, um, which I know I will, but it's just going to be a process. So I had the surgery about two, three hours ago. As you can see, I'm in a sling here and my arm is, and hand is very warm. I can't move my fingers at all. It feels like a piece of wood here. There's just no movement at all from my shoulder down from the nerve block. There's just no moving this arm at all. Um, the good thing about that is there's no pain. Um, the bad thing is it's just it's frustrating not being able to even just move your arms a little bit or fingers and things like that. But that's temporary. It's supposed to go away in 24 hours or plus or minus a few hours. Um, so that's where I'm at and I'm going to continue to make these videos. I need to do this on this arm as well. And she sounded like, you know, we're in the same position where we're going to need the transposition and release on this arm. And we'll be scheduling that, you know, six weeks from now so we can resolve the issue on both hands. One thing I learned that might be interesting to you is whenever you have carpal tunnel syndrome, and that involves the median nerve, it's really these fingers, thumb, index, middle, that the median nerve affects, maybe partially of this finger, but mostly these three fingers. However, the pain feels like it's in the entire hand, but the median nerve, which runs, you know, right, right down the middle of the wrist, and that's where it's released. And that, again, that surgery went really well, and I have a video series on that if you want to look into it. Um, but when the symptoms came back, what I started to learn and realize is the ulnar nerve, which runs from your neck down through your arm, through the elbow, that ulnar nerve is the nerve that controls the function of your pinky and ring finger. And what made me think that that was the problem even before I saw the doctor was I started to isolate and feel like that's where the pain is, these two fingers. Did I have the pain all day, 24 hours, 24 seven? No, 
but it, it kind of came and went. It was waking me up at night several times, or I'd wake up in the morning with the pain in one or both arms. Um, certain things were triggering it. The one time I, I had to drive for quite a while, one day a few months ago for eight hours I was driving, and that really flared it up, and that was really the impetus of me m making a phone call to have this looked into and get it checked out um, starting sometime in July or August once once I was able to make an appointment and get things started and get things looked into. Um, but from a guitarist perspective, obviously this is something that uh, I want to heal as soon as I can so I can get back to playing guitar and enjoying guitar again and, and that's why I'm doing this video series. Um, specifically for guitars, but hopefully other people can learn something from it as well, um, regardless of what your situation is or what your hobbies, interest, or employment is. I mean, I do type a lot at work, um, and it's hard to imagine you having any hobby or employment that doesn't involve using both your hands. So that's uh, part of the picture there. So. This is uh, going to be where I'm going to stop for now. Um, I'm probably going to just, you know, get some rest. Overall, I feel okay. I mean, I can obviously still walk. I still have one good arm. I'm just a little groggy. Obviously, I just had surgery, so um, I know my doctor called in some pain medication, and I can't imagine needing it right now, but it could be something I need um, in, in, in uh, a short amount of time because as the nerve block wears off, obviously you're gonna get some pain. Um, but my biggest concern is just the time frame for the um, recovery and how soon can I get back to using this arm again and, and uh, playing guitar and, and just living a normal life, you know, being able to do all the things that you'd wanna do with your arms. Um, and being healthy. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll make a few more videos as time progresses. And, you know, obviously, again, as I've said it before in numerous other videos, is to keep a good positive attitude about it um, in terms of, you know, mentally and how you're thinking and feeling about this. And I'm doing that, and I feel like, you know, this is just another situation I got to deal with and another thing I got to get through and um, and I will and I'm looking forward to not only recovering but getting back to a normal use of my arms and um, and playing guitar again and doing everything that you would do with your with your arms and being more independent again um, so that's where I'll stop and and we'll go ahead and uh, move forward from there so thank you